The unicorn sets are on their way back, so let's do a little tutorial on the unicorn horn. <laughs> Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back. I hope you have had a fabulous day today and if you are on the other side of the world I hope you're having a fabulous morning. So if you are new here please tap that subscribe button and don't forget to tap the bell too so you can get a notification of every time I drop something new. So I got a request recently about how to do a unicorn horn. So here I am doing a little close-up tutorial for you. Now I didn't want to do like a basic boring one where you just use a white base and then use white again to do the uh, unicorn ridges of the horn. Unicorn ridges, what? You know what I'm saying. <laughs> so the colours I'm using, I'm going to do a marble underneath first. So all these colours will show through as you sort of start with the video. So a simple marble, three colours. Brilliant white, baby pink, and fusion. Fusion is like my favourite purple from Glitterama. Total addict to this. Um, sorry about this part here. Uh, my phone was ringing and it was on silent. It was on vibrate by accident. I normally turn it off. Um, so my bad. <laughs> it doesn't last forever. So I, I, I slow down as soon as I realise it's doing it. Like, oh crap. <laughs> uh, few more seconds and it'll stop. Are you ready? You ready? You ready? And there it goes. Right, so swirling around. I'm not double dipping. I am just picking up a wet bead, pop it on, different colour, pop that on, and the other colour, pop that on, and then just do all three together as a blend. Um, just teasing. <laughs> Um, all I wanted to do was have just some unicorn style colours, the, the colours that we kind of associate with unicorns for some strange reason, pinks and purples and you know. Um, I'm also going to use Aurora powder as well to give it that unicorn kick on top because you know you can't have unicorn without Aurora unicorn powder, you know, you just can't, you just don't do it, no. <laughs> so. I do waffle on, don't I? Hey. Anyway, so yeah, that's my beautiful marble. I'm going to cap it in clear and then give it a rough file and shape as if it was like a set of nails that were ready to go, really. So, on top, I am using my size 14 layer brush to do this, just to prove a point that it doesn't matter how big or how small your brush is, it's just how well you can use it. So, I use my normal acrylic brush, which is my size 14 layer brush from Glitterama. And I use this to do the larger parts of the unicorn horn. Um, start right in the middle of the nail and you need to drain out the bead as well. You don't want it running all over the nail. Pop it on and then you pull it up into one direction, then pull it down into the other direction. And then as it starts to set, that's where you neaten it up. And I put a slight curve in it, so it looks kind of like a very lazy S going across the nail. Oh, not across, um, diagonal. Now I am using clear to do the ridges of this horn because I want the colours to show through from the marble. And I also want to be able to put Aurora on top and it not cover the colours, you know. So with clear it allows you to still have some transparency to it once you've used your, uh, any chrome powders, not chrome powders, sorry, any Aurora powders or anything on top. Um, this is where I then come in with a smaller brush. Now this is my 3D brush from Kylie Wary that I use. Um, and this is just, when you get to like the tip and you need like much smaller beads. There's no point drinking monomer with a big brush when, you know, that's just not realistic. Use the brush that, that fits the size, you know, if that makes sense. I'm sure right? it does in some weird way. So yeah, I've, I've sped it up for these parts just to get through it. Um, but yeah, 
and keep on going until you have fully completed the entire nail and then when it has completely set and dried or cured then you want to come in with a 180 first off file the sides of the nail you want that to be as smooth as possible because that's where it's going to catch things it's where it's going to pull hair out and all that kind of stuff you know so you need the sides to be nice and smooth keep checking it with your fingers like run your thumbs over the side see if you can catch any ridges and if it feel sharp and get rid of it and then over the top i'm not using pressure and this is the height that it needs to be you, you don't want it like three inch off of the nail it just needs enough height to see the definition of it you know subtle not not overly subtle so you can't really see it but you, you get me so give it a nice rough file over what you want to do is make the surface of it nice and smooth but obviously still having the ridges of the horn and then come in with your buffing block make it nice and smooth there's me just checking over there's no rough bits give it a good brush off and that's how it needs to look so I'm going to use top coat glitter armor and I'm going to make sure that I am covering covering what is wrong with my speech today really I'm going to make sure that I'm covering all the sides of these ridges because then I'm going to pop it into the lamp for a full cure and then when it comes out when it's still warm that's when I want to be putting on the aurora so it's fully cured just come out of the lamp so still warm so I'm just rubbing it over the top of the uh, ridges the flat parts of the ridges and then I'm going to tilt the, the magic tool and use the point the tip of it here to go in between all of the ridges as well make sure that that powder is rubbed in properly and then brush off the excess like so pretty and then your last top coat make sure that you get every nut and cranny but you're not using too much like when you're using top coat with this don't slap it on because you'll just lose the definition of these ridges and after all that work do you really want to do that <laughs> so yeah make sure every single part is covered properly it's so pretty into the lamp for a full cure and then here is your finished result it's so pretty so I hope that helps so thank you very much for joining me please stay slain and I will see you in the next one bye bye